Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? <laughs> hey Virgo, welcome to your reading for the month of August. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy birthday to all my August Virgos out there. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your season, your birthday season, yeah? So let's get into it. All right. Hey Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Virgo for the month of August 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so Virgo, I'm... Purple. All right, I'm seeing purple for you, Virgo. There's some of you, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing divine wisdom. Um, there are a lot of you that could be getting flooded with a ton of... Um, uh, divine information. Um, you could be opening up your your um, your psychic abilities. Could be opening up. You could be going through a crown chakra activ activation. Um, I'm seeing this like weird green color that I can't quite define. Um, it's really dark in and. Kind of, it's like dark in hue and kind of sparkly. It looks a little like this stone here. I don't remember what stone this is, but um, it's interesting. And I, what I'm getting with this is deep healing is happening for most of you. There's some seriously, seriously deep healing happening here. And it doesn't feel, I think that's why it's coming across. Oh, flyers. Whoa, lots of flyers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, there's that lovers again. I just did the Leo video and the lovers popped out as a flyer for that one too. Very interesting. Um, all right, so we've got the Ace of Wands, we've got the Three of Cups and we've got the lovers here with the, <laughs> excuse me, uh, the Ace of Wands and the lovers are in reverse. Knight of Cups is upright here and then we also have the 
Knight of Swords. I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups is reversed. And then we also have the Knight of Swords. All right, so this, I, I'm, just from the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Swords upright, I'm getting some conflicting energy. Wow. Give me a second, guys. I'm just trying to take this in. With the, the two knights so far, I'm feeling like somebody wants to rush in, be the knight in shining armor in some way. But someone else may not be having it with the Knight of Cups in reverse. This could be a situation in which somebody does not want... Somebody wants to rush in, but feels like they can't offer any sort of love even though they may want to. Okay, we've got a deep soulmate connection here with the lovers. Could be a twin flame connection. But the, <laughs> the three of cups is in the middle. Now, this could be a third party situation. And if it is a third party situation in the middle of this, um, it's social in nature. And we also have the ace of wands in reverse. Please apologize, uh, please excuse the silence, but I'm really just trying to channel this message here. It's a little obscure. Because there's a lot, there are a lot of different scenarios I'm picking up here. For one thing, I'm hearing no new start, which is an interesting, which is interesting because um, in my last Twin Flame video, well, depending on when you watched this, it was the Twin Flame video titled um, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, Let's Get Grounded. And for the Divine Masculine, it came out that there was like no new start until integrity was put into place. And that's what I'm hearing. I mean, as I'm looking at this Ace of Wands in reverse here, I'm hearing no new start. Followed by until, until integrity is put into place. But then also, I'm picking up an energy here. Even though with the Three of Cups here, I'm picking up some third-party energy, I'm also picking up Union. Because this is like a celebratory, like a Union card almost, in, the, in which like people are coming together and celebrating about it. It's almost... And maybe this is why I'm, so, I'm getting so confused with this, because um, it almost feels like Union is very close for some people. There are still some blockages. Ace of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, the Lovers in reverse. The Knight of Swords here is interesting. It's almost as if someone's got to run into battle, rush into battle first. And I feel like it's to, if there's a third party situation, it's to knock out this Three of Cups energy here in order for this inspiration depicted in the Ace of Wands to be put into place, to be acted on, in order for love to be shared, in order for this connection to be realized here with the lovers in reverse. I'm definitely getting a celebratory energy with this Three of Cups. It's upright. And, and the first thing I feel when I look at it is celebration. Something is right around the corner. And I'm seriously getting an energy of someone wanting to rush in and just change the situation. Like they have the energy, the desire to rush in, but it's like, and they what, it, what they want to do is deliver a message of love, but with this Knight of Cups in reverse here, it's like they can't. Maybe they really can't because of the circumstances, or maybe they just feel like they can't. I am picking up on recognition here with the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. I'm picking up recognition of a deep soulmate connection, maybe even a twin flame situation, a divine partnership, whatever. But it's almost like it's a little, it's too little too late. Like they're realizing it way after the fact and now after some shit's gone down and now... Even though they want to rush in, they can't offer this love with the Knight of Cups in reverse. But 
keep in mind that there is some, that, like, this is universal celebration here because of this recognition in some cases, okay? Like, the universe is cheering, like, finally, finally, you're seeing, you, you, finally, you're getting it. And I literally just heard it's not too late. All right, cool. So let me shuffle this up a little bit more, Virgo. And uh, and I the the sun just popped out, just caught my attention. So yeah, Virgo or whoever else is connected to this situation who feels like all is lost, all is not lost. It's not too late. You can fix this. Is what the divine is saying. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Virgo, and then we'll get into your spread. Okay, I lied. One more. <laughs> Just one more. All right. There we go. Cut the deck here. All right, overall energy. Starting you off, yeah, with the Two of Swords. Stalemate. Someone's stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I just heard their actions have gotten them there. You could be in a stalemate with another person. Like, say, in this situation with the lovers that came out. Um, you both could be at odds with each other. You could be at, at a stalemate with each other. Both of you, well... One of you could be refusing to make a move. The other could be like, I want to make a move, but I, I can't, I, or I don't know how. Both of you could be refusing to make a move. But also there's an energy with this two of swords here of an internal stalemate. Not knowing, not knowing what to do internally. Not being able to figure out what, for yourself, like which end is up, almost. We've got the six of cups in reverse here. We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse, but with all that said, we've got the Six of Wands upright. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever, because the Six of Wands and the Lovers both came out in the Leo reading, so you might want to check that out. Someone is really up in their head. And I feel like whatever happened, like whatever went down, whatever was brought up over this last eclipse, the blood moon and all that, I feel like that really triggered something. I feel like it triggered a realization of a deep soulmate connection here. We've got the soulmate connection again with the Six of Cups. This is also reminiscing. This is also being nostalgic, looking back on the past, maybe being stuck on the past. Someone had some sort of realization about how they were not honest, truthful with the Ace of Swords in reverse when it comes to this connection here. We had the lovers, now we have the Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past. It most likely is, well, yeah, I'll be, yeah, it's someone from your past. And like I said before, for whoever feels like all is lost here, I mean, the sun already caught my attention, but now the six of wands is here and the six of wands is upright. All is not lost. This is actually leading to, uh, I want to say, a deep personal victory. And what we need to understand in this situation is what the Six of Wands is saying is it absolutely had to happen this way. Absolutely had to. In order for the lessons to be learned and for the people to have their aha moments, their realizations of how I literally just heard untrustworthy they were being. But also keep in mind that um, what I, well, also... What I'm getting from this energy is whoever had this realization is really stuck up in their head about it with this Two of Swords energy. There is a lot of internal stalemate 
Maybe because this person doesn't really trust themselves anymore. They may not know which end is up right now. This could be you, Virgo. This could be someone else surround, uh, uh, associated with you. Okay? All right, let's get into the storyline here. We're starting off with, ooh, strength in reverse. Yeah, you really could be dealing with a Leo because strength came out in the overall energy for the Leo reading. But now it's in reverse. This is, yeah, this is someone not trusting themselves. This is also someone that is caught in ego and pride. Could be having an ego death. I did mention that. Did I mention that? I mentioned that for Leo. And it's coupled, wow, two eights. Leo is the eighth major arcana. And we have the eight of swords here. Eight of swords is reversed. Now, I'm getting two scenarios. First one, someone is coming out of egoic entrapment coming out of a situation where their ego was just like running amok. And upon realization of it, someone might have felt like they were eternally trapped in that. And they could be coming out of that now. Or that's how they could be feeling right now. Other scenario. Actually, I just, I think I covered it. <laughs> I covered it, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah. Someone really feels like they're, they can't get out of this egoic behavior, potentially. Whatever drove them, whatever they, whatever situation they walked themselves into because of their actions... They may feel like they can't get out. That's an illusion, though. Okay, moving forward, we have... Whoa. Ace of Cups, upright. Now the Ace of Cups came out for the Leo reading. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But when it came out for the Leo reading, it was reversed. Ace of Cups... Jeez, <sighs> there it is. The lovers. Again... <laughs> but the lovers is reversed. The message here with the lovers in reverse and the ace of cups. This relationship, deep soulmate connection, twin flames, divine partnerships, whatever we're talking about here. This is not going to be able to be realized until... Some, both parties love themselves unconditionally, purely. This, re this connection will not be able to be realized until pure, unconditional love is put into place for both parties on an individual basis. Pure, unconditional love for the self is, 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 the main thing that is blocking this relationship. Okay? That's what the Ace of Cups and the Lovers in Reverse, the Ace of Cups upright and the Lovers in Reverse is saying. Moving forward, we've got the Two of Wands. So now there is a decision that needs to be made with the Magician. So someone, either you, Virgo, or someone else around you, is working on manifesting something new. And what I'm getting here is they're, pick, they're trying to, you or this other person is trying to figure out the best way to go about this manifestation. Okay. Yeah, moving forward. We got... Oh man, wow, y'all. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Like, go watch that Leo reading, I swear. If you have a Leo in your life in some way, or if Leo is in your chart, or Leo is in their chart, watch it. Because, because the Knight of Wands came out for that reading too. 
And y'all watched me shuffle these cards. Alright. Knight of Wands is coupled with... Jeez, the judgment. I mean, I, this might as well be the freaking Leo reading. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> this is so funny. But... There is a calling that's being heard here. And when the Knight of Wands came out for the Leo reading, I was picking up an energy. The, Leo, the Knight of Wands came out with the Two of Cups. The Knight of Wands was up, was reversed, just like it is here. And it came out with the Two of Cups. And I was saying, I was picking up energy of someone is releasing this player energy, this, um, yeah, this player energy in favor of true love, commitment, that sort of thing. And here we have that depiction again. But you see, it's a little, it's a little deeper than that now. Because the Knight of Wands is being um, uh, clarified by judgment. And it's upright. So somebody, judgment is upright. So somebody is really hearing the call. Somebody really desires a rebirth. A second chance. And doesn't necessarily want to come through with this Knight of Wands energy, like one here, they're gone, one here, one second they're here, you blink and they're gone. Okay. Wow. Wow, we wow, wow. Moving forward, we have Nine of Wands. Upright. With the King of Wands. Okay, so someone's battered and bruised. And if this is the person that is releasing this Knight of Wands energy, yeah, that sounds about right. Because I feel like you really got your ass handed to you lately <laughs> with the Nine of Wands. But you're still fighting on. This could be, if we're talking, if, like, if you're a twin flame and this is resonating with you, this is the, the Divine Masculine with the King of Wands here. And that makes perfect sense because the Divine Masculine kind of has been getting his ass handed to him lately. These are defenses. This person might still be really defensive and not want to talk about it right now or not want to talk to you right now. I don't know. But I'm also picking up energy of while somebody is stepping into their power with the King of Wands is getting ready to or is actively going after something that they really want, they truly wanted all this whole time maybe, they're still having to deal with some pushback, blowback, from their environment that they're facing or that they find themselves in. Okay. This is also an energy of whoever is, is taking on this King of Wands energy. This is their desire to press on, to fight on, to not give up. Even though they may feel like all is lost, whoever this is in the situation, there is still an energy of not wanting to give up. And that's pretty beautiful, to be quite honest. Especially in light of all this bullshit. <laughs> Moving forward, we've got Two of Pentacles in reverse. Feeling like you don't have control. Maybe you have lost control of the situation. Or you're actively losing control. Feeling imbalanced. Possibly even being confused. Two of Cups, Pentacles is... Yeah, is coupled with the Seven of Swords. Of course you lost control of the situation. Why? Because someone decided they were going to run around and, and do whatever the fuck they wanted and not to give two shits about how it affected the other people around them. Well, guess what? What goes around comes around. What you put out there is what you get back. So yeah, you lost control of this situation because you wanted to be deceptive, whoever this is. Also, also, on a much brighter note, if you feel like you you can't keep control of the situation, you might be deceiving yourself. You may not need to control the situation. You might be deceiving yourself in thinking that you have to have everything under, under wraps right now. That is very much a Virgo energy. That's an earth sign energy. You might be doing more damage to yourself by trying to control the situation instead of just going with the flow, okay? All right, moving forward, we've got 
There's the Knight of Cups again, still in reverse, with the Eight of Cups, upright. Someone was working very hard to share love with somebody, and now they're walking away. And I feel like, because we have the eight, we have eight cups here neatly stacked, and I'm getting an energy of somebody is going off to find that last two cups, those last two cups, in the two of cups, to complete this ten. That's desired. Someone is understanding, or I guess basically got the message that whatever they were trying to do. Like, to, to get some sort of situation going off the ground, you know, even though we have the lovers here. This could have been a toxic relationship. This could have been a karmic relationship. The lovers is reversed. But somewhere along the line, someone said, enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm just going to go elsewhere with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups is upright. I'm not picking up any energy of love being lost here. No, definitely. Love was definitely not lost, but someone was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to go. So now I'm also picking up some energy here with the knight, oh, I'm sorry, with the king of wands and the nine of wands. Whoever is walking away from this situation you're also taking on this King of Wands energy because you know exactly what it is you want. And even though this one person that we're talking about here that was being deceitful and not being honest, even though I really feel like both parties were very aware, well, both parties were aware of the situation to a certain extent or enough of an extent to know that this, that this was a deep connection, okay? And whoever's walking away here it's like, oh, wow, it's funny. It's like both of you are, are, are taking on the King of Wands energy. One is walking away and going towards something, going to, after, going to go find what exactly what it is they know that they want, and they're not letting this situation um, get them down with the Nine of Wands energy. They're still fighting on. And then the other is picking up this energy too, but it's like with the King of, with the Knight of Swords energy that came out before, it's like wanting to rush in and like, Fix things, I guess. So now also, this person that... Uh, now, so that we have the person that is walking away and then we have the other one. The other one could be kind of walking away too. More so out of the energy of feeling like they can never get this back. Or they could just be walking away in order to separate from the situation again for a little bit in order to figure out, make this decision with the, the, the magician and the two of wands here. Make this decision on how to reapproach this situation, I guess. Okay. Finally, we have, holy moly, the Ten of Cups. Upright. And I was literally talking about the Ten of Cups because I was seeing somebody walking away from these eight cups in search of that two of cups that's going to complete the ten. And sure enough, here we've got the ten of cups, upright. Emotional fulfillment. Coupled with, ooh, whoa, <laughs> the six of swords in reverse. Interesting. Well, that's very interesting. Because what I'm getting, what I'm getting with this Ten of Cups here and the Six of Swords, someone it really isn't walking away, or really isn't moving too. That's what I'm, what I'm pick, really picking up here. What I'm hearing is someone's not moving too far, because they know that ultimately their fulfillment is here. They don't have. It's almost like they don't have to move away. 
I'm just, I'm picking up an energy of, yeah, someone, I think, I think what's happening here for you guys is, um, what this eight of cups, what this is saying to me is people are just going to their separate corners in order to figure things out. And I really feel like there's a realization on both parts, both parties here, both parts, that um, the ultimate emotional fulfillment is here. So there really is no need to really walk away all that much. Hmm. Ultimately, Virgo, you have a victory here. The Six of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. All right, let's get into the Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. One message for Virgos, please, for the month of August. All right, one message, please, Spirit for Virgos, for the month of August 2018. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There we go. Elf struck, oof, enchanted, beguiled, and spelled. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm picking up an energy of some of you feel like you're under a spell. Yeah. You are dazzled, amazed, astounded at present. Your head a whirl with otherworldly visions and thoughts. You may be a little obsessive and unable to balance at present. It is all or nothing, and the momentum is exhilarating and intoxicated. You have given your all to your new passion. You have discovered that you truly do have the power to create what you want and need in your life. So please take time out to contemplate just how these miracles have come about the coincidences and connections that have brought you to this place. There is so much to be considered, to think about, and the thoughts you have at this time are so intense and fully flavored that they are creating the next steps in your life. Drawing them to you, weaving and creating your future. While you are currently so devoured by the desire to push forward, use this energy. Do not allow your current state of enchantment to be sabotaged or hijacked for other purposes than your own, which must be for the highest good. Soon the intensity will ease. Balance shall, take a make, shall make a return and life will take on something like normality again. But now, having tasted magic, you can never return to how you once were. You are forever changed, friend. Oh my, Virgo. Oh my, my, my. All right, guys. Well, there it is. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say, but that's about it. All right, guys. Much love to you. Thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.